Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and today we're taking a look at the Arlo Pro 3 outdoor security camera. Before we get stuck into what's inside this box, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. So this is a complete starter kit. You get everything you need in this box. Opening it out, you'll see there are two cameras included. These can be used inside or outside. They are weather resistant. Taking them out, they're quite compact little cameras. They have a mount section on the back, a charging point and button on the bottom. That charge point is magnetic and you get a single magnetic charging cable with a USB end. There's also the charging block. There's the screw holders and the main hub. That's what you'll connect everything to and that plugs into your network. On the very bottom shelf of this pack, you get the power adapters, ethernet adapters, and a range of plugs depending where you are in the world as well as a couple of holders for the cameras to help you get set up and two batteries one for each camera there's also a selection of manuals and a little sticker if you want to put up a sticker to say that you're protecting the area with the arlo camera system the button on the bottom is how you open this out to insert the battery simply press that down and the main shell slides off that then allows you to put the chunky battery in place and then slide the shell back over and that clips shut and there's not very much else to this camera curiously you get two different mounts one has a swivel head to allow you to better position the camera and that just screws in the back in case you're curious that is the same thread as a tripod the other has a magnetic system so you'd put that on the wall and then the magnet holds this really tight that can also be used as a stand so if you're not wall mounting it can be stood up the central hub has power ethernet and a usb port on the back for plugging in external hard disks setup didn't take very long at all you'll need to download the app and follow the on-screen instructions you'll set up the hub it will then check for firmware updates and apply them as necessary you'll then add the two cameras and you can give them bespoke names so you can just call them camera one camera two or you might have outdoors indoors front porch whatever you want to call them so that they're easy to locate once you've added the cameras you can then pop them into their final position and it has a handy little screen showing you the bandwidth signal strength as well as what the camera is seeing to get it into the perfect position so you're going to keep readjusting it you get a generous three month trial of arlo smart this unlocks additional features and functions such as cloud storage this is charged monthly if you have a look at this table you'd want the up to 2k plan that's up to 7.99 a month or 9.99 us dollars there's a range of additional features available so you get smarter personalization of alerts there's also ai used within the alerts to tell you what kind of motion has been detected so vehicle or animal you can also have activity zones this is great if you're monitoring an outdoor area because it means you can ignore certain things that might move such as foliage as well as the app you can log into a web dashboard when you first log in it will prompt you to confirm the login via your app so if anyone tries to log in you'll be notified it's got the same features and functionality as the app so I'll show you on here because it's a bit clearer you've got the cameras so if you have more cameras they'll all show up here but these are the two that came in this pack I've had this set up for 10 11 days this was the first camera I set up and it's at 42 percent so it looks like you're going to need to charge this once every three maybe four weeks the second one I set up a bit later and that's now at 83 percent and I think that's pretty impressive actually because I've been messing around with this a lot if we go to the library feature you can see this is me messing around so there's quite a lot of recordings that have taken place so you can also see here that it's detected a person in this dashboard you can favorite the recordings you can download it to your phone or computer or you can donate it for research purposes the notifications cover quite a wide range of activities so you've got people vehicles animals package smoke all other motion so if it doesn't know what it is it will just show it as motion and this can happen quite a lot outside if you have foliage in the background this was a problem i first had and that's where the active zones come in so that you can exclude the areas triggering the motion detection on the base station you've got different modes you've got arm disarm scheduled geo fencing i've actually set up my own custom mode because i found i was getting lots of notifications for the back camera and the front was fine that was only triggered when people were 
uh, coming in or out of the front porch. So I've added a rule that if there's motion or audio on the front door, that's when I get a notification and it ignores that back camera. Daytime picture quality is very good and it correctly identified people dropping off and picking up packages. You also get sound. It also correctly identified animals visiting, so this cat isn't my cat but it sometimes visits and I could go outside and have a little play with it because I got notified on the app. At night time you have a couple of options for video and how it works. You can either have it recording in colour and you can have a spotlight that comes on. So as I move around that triggers the light to come on so you could have that up and you can see it records and it records quite well actually. It's covering quite a large area there but there's maybe some detail lost. Or you can have this set to night vision mode so the spotlight won't come on and you can see a little cat passing through in the bottom left has triggered it. If that's not obvious, it can also have a bit of AI camera control where it tries to zoom in on whatever or whoever has triggered the recording, but it's a little bit hit and miss. I think I prefer to stay zoomed out and manually zoom in myself so that I retain the full picture. It's not just listening to the audio, it's two way and you can speak through the camera. So this is a quick test of the microphone. I'm talking into the app on my phone and it is speaking out of the speaker. This allows you to talk to someone or shout, shout them away if you can see them loitering around. You can also activate and deactivate the spotlight. And there's also an inbuilt siren. So overall, a great little system, especially if you want to put something outdoors. This has survived the Manchester rain. Just be aware you do have subscription fees to consider if you want the full feature set. If you'd like to learn more about this product, I will put affiliate links in the description below. It doesn't cost you any more, but it does help support me and the channel. I hope you found this short review useful. Hit subscribe if you hadn't, and I'll see you on the next review.